Keyvokers. What up, guys? This is Keyvokers. Back here again with another video. Today we're going to be doing an achievement breakdown on Monster Jam Steel Titans. This game has 24 achievements for a thousand gamer score. Overall, I ended up with 775 out of a thousand. I think I'm gonna call it quits on that. The reason is because the full garage achievement is a big grind. It's going to take about 50 to 60 hours to get that achievement. You have to unlock all the trucks. In terms of the game itself, it is a really awesome game. I did like it. If you like racing games, you should like this game. I grew up going to monster trucks, so I thought it was a pretty awesome game. The only uh, bad thing I'd say about the game is that they do not have Bigfoot in the game. As mentioned before, I only got 20 out of 24 achievements, missing 4. I decided to call it quits because the last four, I just didn't have enough time for them. I game plied the game. But as you can see, I put in 20 hours into the game. First, I'm going to start off as usual by showing you guys the achievements that I didn't get in the game. So let's dive into those. So the secret achievement here at the bottom with only a 0.79 uh, percentage rate, this is the full garage achievement. And this is the achievement for buying all the trucks in the game. As I mentioned before, you need a ton of money to do this, and to do this, you're going to have to play um, the World Series over and over again. And that's the best way to collect money, however, it's going to take a long time, like I said, 50 to 60 hours. The next secret achievement is the Skeletal Remains achievement for 30 gamer score. This is for finishing a race with no panels, so for, you know, knocking off all of the panels, all of the skeleton of the monster truck. I believe this achievement is glitched or something because I've done this multiple times and I could never get the achievement to pop. Part of the reason why I decided to give up on the completion. This next achievement is for finding all of the collectibles. You won't be able to uh, gain access to all of the areas to find all the collectibles until you've beaten all of the career mode. And then the last achievement is the World Championship Series. This series takes about three and a half to four hours. And by the time I got to the World Championship Series, I honestly was just uh, over the game. I got to be completely honest with you. I just don't want to put another four hours into it. But overall, I'd say this last achievement is pretty easy. It's just the last three I felt were discouraging. The first achievement I ended up getting was the Long Jumper achievement. This is for jumping a distance greater than 237 feet. That's really easy. You'll get that during the tutorial. You also get an achievement for completing the tutorial. That's the No More Training Wheels achievement or trophy. Next, we get an achievement for purchasing an upgrade part on a monster truck. This is the Gone Shopping achievement for 10 gamer score. Really easy, you can get that after the tutorial. You also get an achievement for finishing your first race in first place with no panels broken. Just make sure that you have a clean race and you're sure to get that one. Next, um, you get an achievement for completing the Outdoor Series. All of the career achievements, you don't even need to get first place. You just need to get top three. The Can't Stop Me achievement, that's for finishing an event with a broken tire. I feel like you'll get that naturally. Um, Sky High, um, that's for jumping higher than 40 feet. After I applied a couple upgrades, I was able to reach a speed of 99 miles per hour and get the Speed Demon and then uh, hit a big ramp and get the sky high achievement. Next is the stuntman, that's for successfully performing an 11 times multiplier. Um, you are sure to get that naturally, if not just make sure to run over a bunch of cars and pick up the yellow tokens to gain a better multiplier. Next we have an achievement for the arena championship series. All of the career achievements, the championship series achievements are 90 gamer points. So those offer a lot of gamer score. However, after a while, the series end up getting really long. The on the right track achievement is for finishing a race without going off the track. Pretty easy. Just make sure to focus one race on that. The go big or go home, that's for breaking two or more tires. Just make sure that you start up a freestyle or a free roam and just start running into things until you break two tires. Next, we have the showtime achievement. This is for successfully performing 100 combos. I don't think you need to grind this out or anything. I think you'll get this naturally um, over the course of all the freestyle events. Next, we have the Tricked Out. Uh, that's for purchasing all five parts in a monster truck. 
Um, I believe after the third or fourth series, you are able to upgrade your monster truck all the way. And all you have to do is just upgrade it all the way. You'll definitely get this naturally because you have to end up having a maxed out truck to uh, win a lot of the races in the end of the career mode. Next, you get an achievement for placing first in any race on Steel Titan difficulty. You cannot do this until you have a maxed out truck. Don't even try. The total destruction achievement or trophy, that's for completing a destruction combo greater than 35 uh, multiplier. I'm going to upload a video for this, make sure to keep an eye out on that. I have a nice guide on how to do that, it's 90 gamer score. The high miles achievement, this is for driving over 100 miles. Again, this is something that you're going to end up getting naturally, just make sure that you keep playing the game. The wheelie king, hold a wheelie trick for 150 feet. I'm going to be uploading an achievement guide on this as well, as well as the stoppy master. This is for holding a stoppy trick for 75 feet. Both of these are pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Um, you just have to make sure that you put your truck in a freestyle mode so you have more control over it. Otherwise, it's really hard to get. Next, the last achievement I got is for the stadium championship series. This series is about 45 minutes to an hour long. Um, this is where it really started to get harder. This is the series that you need a maxed out truck for. I actually didn't beat it on my first try, but I was kind of messing around and being lazy during the races. However, the second time I took it seriously and I was able to beat the championship series pretty easily. Maybe one day I'll come back to the game and complete it. But for now, like I said, I'm over it. I have the game from Gamefly and I feel like I'm just wasting my subscription away by having the same game. So I'm going to go ahead and return it. And I'm going to take that 775 gamer score. Make sure you keep an eye out for some more Monster Jam Steel Titans videos. I'm going to be uploading some achievement guides for the game. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>